The ninth month of the year has a lot of positives to warm our hearts. Here are the top three positive news stories of September 2023. If you like the video and find the content meaningful, then kindly press the super thanks button and contribute whatever you can to the channel. Your contributions will help us create more engaging and informative positive videos. Number 3. Paris Olympics gets 11,000 stadium seats made of recycled city plastic. Spectators of the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris will be watching the aquatic events from seats made of plastic, collected in recycling bins from around the area. In fact, 80% of the 100 metric tons of plastic needed to make the seats came from a single neighborhood, which is also where it's being processed into new material by a firm called La Pave. Numerous tests have been carried out on the chairs, which include UV resistance, fire resistance, and toxicity, but also mechanical resistance tests to see how well they remain anchored to the floor under persistent attempts to rip them off it, perhaps by a drunken angry spectator. Marius Hamillet, co-founder of La Pave, said that in the lead-up to the Olympics, manufacturers have been encountering problems getting a hold of new plastics, so they switched to using waste streams. One rich vein in particular was soda bottle tops, of which 5 million were shredded by various companies looking to produce infrastructure like seating for the Games. Paris and France at large have set ambitious targets of sustainability for the Games, hoping to reduce downstream emissions by half compared to the 2012 and 2016 games. Number 2. Taylor Swift is a hero to food banks across the US at each stop of her era's tour. Economists told a leading news channel recently that Taylor Swift's era's tour is becoming such a massive phenomenon that it's having demonstrable impacts on the US economy at large, but it's not only stadium venues, record labels, and ticket vendors benefiting. Everywhere she goes, Swift is making big donations to U.S. food banks, allowing them to feed hundreds of thousands of needy Americans. The Eras tour kicked off in Arizona, where she presented a hefty check to the Arizona Food Bank Network, big enough to fill tractor trailers with 40,000 pounds of fresh produce and reinforce benefit programs for children who rely on school meals and seniors who rely on food stamps. Based on the homelessness burden in Washington state, estimated as the sixth highest in the country as a percentage of population, the Seattle-based non-profit Food Lifeline likely received a similar size gift from Swift. Second Harvest of Silicon Valley also received the Swift largesse, then three square food bank serving Las Vegas in southern Nevada, then Food Bank of the Rockies in Colorado. Swift also gave each of the 50-member strong trucking team that has done the heavy lifting and the late nights that make her show possible, a $100,000 life-changing bonus, leaving them all shocked and humbled. According to Feeding America, unemployment and food insecurity skyrocketed after the pandemic. In 2022, 49 million people turned to food banks and community programs for help putting food on the table. And now, thanks to Taylor Swift, many of them will finally find some relief and some much-needed food in their bellies. Number 1. Police officers free school inside Delhi slum is helping kids escape life on the streets. A Delhi police officer who managed to crawl his way out of the city slums as a child is now giving back to poor children who live the lifestyle of skipping school and working odd jobs. With his free school, where classes are held in the parking lot of the famous Red Fort, Thon Singh helps kids who have missed school catch up to their age bracket so they can be at the same level as their peers. Born in Rajasthan, Singh grew up with two siblings on the streets of New Delhi, where he would sell corn and his father would iron clothes. But despite this day-to-day -day existence, Singh never forgot the importance of school. Singh while doing odd jobs, stayed in school and passed the examination for the Delhi police. Going back to police the streets on which he was raised, Singh began to feel something had to be done to help children like him who had to work instead of study. He then started a one-of-a-kind school called Thon Singh Ki Path Shala. He now teaches 80 children aged 3 to 15 outside of the Red Fort from neighborhoods like Raj Ghat, Vijay Ghat, and Shantavan. Local battery rickshaw drivers have volunteered to bring the children home from the school every day. He gets everything through donations, books, lunches, uniforms, and other supplies. Last year, 70 of Singh's students were able to enroll in proper government schools, 10 of whom achieved the highest exam scores in their class. There is no other peace than working for these children. I could be the reason towards bringing a change in their lives with just a little support. What could have been better than this for me?" said Singh. 
If you like the video and find the content meaningful, then kindly press the super thanks button and contribute whatever you can to the channel. Your contributions will help us create more engaging and informative positive videos.